Hi, Mark Savage here, Savage on Wheels. Hyundai Veloster in today, sports car, basically. Uh, got a rear seat, not for a lot of people, <laughs> but it's got a rear seat in it. Uh, they used to have several models of Veloster, but Hyundai has decided to just go with the performance edition of this. So we've got the kind of the golf oil blue and orange uh, paint job here, which is kind of cool. We've got fancy uh, low profile tires, and we got, uh, you know, it's just, it's a heck of a nice car. It drives well, it's fast, it looks slick. I like the look of this ball, don't you? Yeah, it looks cool. This is great. You know, we got the red calipers down here. We got giant disc brakes. Got the fast back, and of course, you got to have the wing on the back because that's going to keep us down when we're on the uh, highway <laughs> and uh, doing all of our tricks and stuff out there. I'm going to just show you real quick that it is a hatchback, so we got decent trunk space to toss a few bags in there. You can put the seats down and so forth. And uh, I think it's pretty sharp looking front to back. We got a little diffuser down at the back, bottom here. Two big giant tailpipes and it does have a great sound which you'll hear when we get going uh, and of course the N logo because N is for their speed version you think of BMW has an M these guys the Hyundai folks have an N uh, we'll tell you more about that later but anyway good looking car fast fun we'll take it for a spin so uh, one unusual feature about this car it's called a three-door because there is a back door on the passenger side the handle is kind of hidden in the uh, window edge there. Not a lot of room. We know that. You know it's only going to be for kids in the back seat. But it's nice that you can crawl in and out instead of having to push the seat all the way forward. And, uh, you know, makes it, this makes it for an easier in and out. And you can throw groceries back there, too. So we're heading out uh, on one of the country roads right now. Nice interior here, and because it's a sports car, we've got the uh, side bolsters that are really nice and tight around you here, so it's more like a racing uh, seat. That's really good, comfortable. Leather steering wheel, I wish it had the flat bottom ball, but it doesn't. Uh, not a great giant screen here, but it's easy to use. We've got the map we can turn on here, and uh, the radio. All before one of and it's, and it's easy, it's, you know, all this is easy. I like that big buttons down here for the climate controls. Reasonable dash, easy to see everything. It says I'm getting about 27, 28 miles per gallon right now, which is pretty good considering I've been giving it a little uh, extra power on the highway and so forth. And, uh, you know, it's got all the safety equipment that you would expect on a, on a car these days with the blind spot warning and so forth. These little paddles down here that are help you shift this. We can uh, go into eco mode, which is where we just went into normal, and we'll go back into sport because sport's a lot more fun, and we like to do that. And then this other button that has the checkered flags on it uh, allows you to customize, and you can set your car up the way you want to drive it. So, uh, I don't know, that everything you'd want on a car, the only thing I haven't found that it doesn't have on it that I'd like to have is the uh, uh, charger. I'd like to have a wireless charger down here. So, Veloster N, 33.5 for the base model, but that has six-speed manual. That's a lot of fun if you're a guy that likes to shift a lot that's that's a great option this has the automatic so it's 35,000 and not a lot of options that you put on this thing this is pretty much as it as it sits here $35,000 or so so I think it's a lot of fun uh, you know you're going to compare this to probably a Subaru WRX which uh, this has a little more power than that this has more power than the Civic Si and uh, you know it's uh, it's it's one of the leading sports cars that's out right now.